Charlotte and Attila hail from New Urswick, a village near York in England. Charlotte works as a paint technician while Attila is an engineer, however their deepest desire was to become parents. Shortly after their wedding in 2015, Charlotte and Attila began trying to conceive. Despite their efforts, a year passed without success. However, in April 2016, Charlotte received the best early 21st birthday present when she discovered she was finally pregnant. Initially, Charlotte's pregnancy seemed typical. However, during the 20-week scan, the couple received devastating news. Doctors revealed that their baby girl's brain was significantly underdeveloped, and she also had a hypoplastic aorta, a heart defect affecting blood flow. Further tests unveiled that the unborn baby had unbalanced chromosome translocation, a genetic condition where two chromosomes swap segments, leading to missing or extra genes. The severity of the condition depends on which chromosomes are involved. Facing the uncertainty surrounding their child's condition, doctors presented Charlotte and Attila with the option of termination. However, the couple decided to proceed with the pregnancy. Consequently, their baby would undergo bi-weekly scans to monitor her development. At 37 weeks, doctors noticed reduced blood flow to Charlotte's placenta. Concerned for her well-being, Charlotte's medical team opted for an early delivery via Caesarean section at Leeds General Infirmary. On December 13, 2016, Charlotte and Attila joyfully welcomed their first child, a daughter named Evelyn, weighing 5 pounds and 5 ounces. However, the couple had to wait before they could hold their newborn. Evelyn was immediately taken to a ventilator upon birth, and it took seven hours before Charlotte and Attila could see her. They had to wait three days for their first cherished cuddle with their daughter, as she remained under the care of the neonatal intensive care unit, NICU. Subsequent scans revealed additional challenges for Evelyn, including lung complications and airway issues, compounding her already underdeveloped brain. These complexities rendered her unable to breathe independently, precluding the possibility of life-saving heart surgery. Understandably, this was a devastating realization for her parents. In a 2017 interview disclosed, after her birth, doctors suggested transferring Evelyn to a hospice. However, I couldn't accept it at first. I wasn't ready to acknowledge the severity of the situation. As days passed, Charlotte and Attila came to the difficult conclusion that hospice care was the most compassionate option for their daughter. It was an agonizing decision for us as parents, but we knew that keeping her in the hospital would be selfish, Charlotte explained. After a valiant four-week struggle, Evelyn peacefully passed away in January 2017 at Martin House Hospice in Weatherby. Prior to her passing, her parents had the opportunity to embrace her tenderly for the first time. Just one hour later, Evelyn took her last breath in her mother's arms. Although their beloved daughter had departed, Charlotte and Attila opted to remain at the hospice for an additional 12 days. During this time, Evelyn's body was preserved using a refrigerated cuddle cot, allowing her parents to cherish precious moments before bidding their final farewells. During these cherished days, Charlotte and Attila embraced their daughter, taking her for strolls in the hospice garden. Reflecting later, Charlotte shared that this time together was profoundly comforting. Being able to spend time with our baby really helped us emotionally, she explained. I know it might not be the right choice for everyone, but for us, having that family time and being able to cuddle our little girl was incredibly important. Charlotte emphasized the significance of these moments, stating, having the opportunity to spend time with her made a world of difference. We were able to do many of the things we had envisioned, like taking her out in her pram. Following their 12-day stay at the hospice, Charlotte and Attila brought Evelyn home for four days before her funeral. I was quite anxious about bringing her home because I wasn't sure if it would feel right. But it turned out to be a beautiful experience. It was comforting to have her with us, not just for ourselves but also for Evelyn, so she could be at home, Charlotte shared. On their final night with Evelyn, Charlotte and Attila tenderly placed their daughter in the cot they had prepared in their bedroom before her birth. The following day, they bid her farewell at her funeral. Despite the immense grief, Charlotte found solace in the belief that Evelyn was now in a better place. Following Evelyn's passing, Charlotte and Attila have dedicated themselves to honoring her memory by raising awareness about infant mortality and the options available to grieving parents, such as the cuddle cot. This device afforded Charlotte and Attila the invaluable opportunity to spend precious time with their daughter. Charlotte expressed, Many people are unaware that parents can spend this time with their babies, and other mothers have reached out to me, expressing that they believe it would have been beneficial. Therefore, I am determined to raise awareness.